One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's Tom Dizzo here. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, today, we just had a great weekend mentoring session. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, good questions, uh, you know, from the members today. So if you guys miss, uh, you know, make sure you go back and, and, and read all those uh, questions again. Uh, so today's topic is uh, it's going to be uh, about what to do when your trades don't go as planned. I mean, you know, this is poorly just about, I mean, this is just a, an example of, uh, you know, when I have some like some certain thesis be like uh, behind the, the trade and I just execute it right with you know clear mind that you know this that like uh, this is what uh, I've, I've been doing for a while and uh, I know that you know it's not gonna work 100% all the time I mean nothing works 100% all the time so that's why you have all those stances therefore right so you trade uh, you know let's say you trade out of 10 trades and seven or eight of them been up working so and you know that's good right those two or three trades it's going to be outliers and those two three trades it's not going to work so you have to kind of deal with that emotionally and you know to me like the nature of trading for me is more like you know like i'm the casino right and i want to take the high probabilities bet and Again, you know, I, I could take, you know, easily, uh, you know, 10 or 20 paper cuts at a time. But I know that, you know, all I, all I need or like all it takes is, uh, you know, two or three trades for me to make it back. But, you know, in order to do that, I need to kind of do back testing. I need to kind of uh, have a detailed plan regarding that. And, you know, I have to deal with that emotionally beforehand, before we even placing a trade. You know, what if and then? You know, and uh, like just on this one, for example, okay, v VXRT here. I mean, this is this is poor. F like, uh, this is a front side, right? I know, but my thesis behind this is that okay, the stock went from seven twenty five all the way to nine, right? I you know I didn't short it here into this line. I I I was patiently waiting for the stock to come, right? and for the top to be set first before I even, you know, show back the bounce. And, you know, that's basically the simple, like uh, the simple strategy, how to go short, right? You know, uh, you need to have a thesis. You have to know, okay, so if I short it here, what is, uh, you know, my plan, right? And what is my edge shorting here? Okay, so if your edge is shorting here and, you know, because, you know, first resistance short around this line, eight line, Okay, if it gets over eight, you need to, 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 to stop out, right? There's no problem with that. As long as you have your, your edge, as long as you predefine your risk, as long as you have, you know, a detailed plan or what to do if things go wrong, right? That's the most important part here. So this is what I'm trying to say is that, okay, so the stock went from seven to nine, okay? And then it dropped to like, you know, 8.3, 8.4. You know, to me, technically, the top is temporary set. Okay, I'm not looking to, you know, to short here and then, you know, cover way down here. No, no. My thesis behind this trade is that, okay, so the top, after this big rejections, you know, my thesis was to short back the bounce and risking over this high. What it was like, you know, 930 or something like that. And for me, you know, I would be risking, let's say I was, uh, I would be risking 20 or 30 cents right here to be able to make, you know, maybe like a 60 cents, something like that, or like 50 cents around this uh, view app. That's my thesis. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other 
end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. And I wasn't, you know, patiently enough for kind of the top to kind of sat here and I want to see rejections uh, to show that the stock, uh, the top has temporary sat so now I can show back the bounce. And also, you know, I'm still anticipating this. And so, you know, I know exactly what I'm risking. So right after I get in at nine, I put a stop out over this, uh, you know, height of day. And I got stop out after that. Okay, so this is the key point here. What usually happens to new traders that after they took this loss, they end up revenge, right? They end up revenge trading. They end up frustrated with themselves. Uh, you know, their emotions, you know, kicking in. And, you know, what to do after that? You know, for me, as, uh, you know, as someone that I know, and, you know, I've, I've been through this before. I've been doing this, you know, uh, like, you know, like, quite a long long time enough uh, for me to realize that this is the not a sustainable way how to to like uh, treat trading as a living right and i've been burned so many times that to me now uh those stops or like those you know small losses are you know i kind of make them you know my friends and i try to kind of embrace them and try to learn from them right and i know that I have my edge, okay? So this is my edge here, like the, the top temporary side show back the bounce, right? So out of 10 times from this particular trade, out of 10 times, I'm right maybe seven or eight times, okay? And that's good for me. That's good enough for me, a risk reward, right? So I, so, I mean, there's a lot of ways uh, for you to kind of trade. And I think, you know, you shouldn't be worried too much about the stats i mean a lot of stats uh that could be like okay so let's say uh, let's say uh you know you write only like four out of ten but those four out of ten you get like four to one or five to one uh you know a profit ratio and to me that's still good like let's say let, let's say here okay so uh let's say you risk like like i'm just gonna put example here like 10 cents risk okay 10 cents risk and in order for you to get 40 cents back right so you make for this trade right for this paper cuts all it takes is one to make it all back so i mean maybe your stats in tradable it's not you know really great because you know maybe for, for like 40 percent or like you know 30 percent but you got the good profit ratio okay and sometimes it could be 6 to 1 or 71. So it really depends on what kind of risk and reward, you know, the thesis or the 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 trades being giving you. And that's why I said, you know, trading is really just about how to make a highly profitable bet. That's all there is. Okay? As long as can, as you, you can make, you know, the right bet, you're going to be profitable. Okay, and you don't have to worry about anything else, but not a lot of people can think about it that way, right? So when they get their emotions getting in, when they, you know, they're frustrated, they try a revenge trade, and that's usually leads them to like the inconsistency, uh, you know, and lead them, you know, to slowly bling up their account because they don't treat trading as a business, basically. They treat trading, okay, so let's say I'm just... A new trader uh, you know I have no clue what I'm doing okay so what happens is after this I shorted here okay I took a loss okay and now I'm frustrated with myself okay and and now like you know I, I try to you know and right after the stock kind of tank I try to short it down here expecting another dump right stock pops I'm being nervous got to stop out here again and here when it tanks you know I end up chasing down here Stock pop and up losing again, you know. It's like this is I'm I'm just giving guys how the the example, uh, one of those example uh, that you know, it's been doing, like I, I've been go 
I've been, you know, over this for so many times, and uh, you know, I I couldn't count, and I get to the point that I'm really frustrated with myself. I really get tired of myself that I sit down with myself and I, I and, and I basically said, you know, what's the point in the way? I mean, if you can handle that emotions, okay? I mean, you could be up for like you know a week, months, you know, a year, and then all it takes is one stubborn day to get back everything. It's just because that, uh, you know, the trade doesn't work, doesn't, you know, lead you to the point that uh, you could be revenge trading that, right? I mean, you have to be okay with that because, you know, eight or nine out of ten times, one of those two times, it's going to be like one of those two styles is going to be outliers, right? You just have to deal with that fact. You just have to deal with that and being like being able to move on, being like being able to take a small loss, so that you can you know hit back when the optimal setup is there. All right, guys. So hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm always available for you guys, and I see you guys uh, next time. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.